Hey guys, Captain Tuck Scott here from Building Anglers. Um, today I'm going to do a quick video on new boat and new trailer preventive maintenance. Um, obviously it's not exclusive to new, but it's just nice if we have something that's in really good shape and we want to keep it looking that way um, and being nice and new and shiny, especially in this harsh saltwater environment that, we, uh, that we're in every day with these types of things. Um, it's been exciting to me that after doing the podcast with Tom Rosenbauer up at Orvis about selecting saltwater flies, that there has been a bunch of feedback of one thing that I said right at the end where we were talking about this Building Anglers program and I mentioned that I was going to do this specific video in my next blog post and uh, I've gotten a bunch of emails asking, well, where is that video? We want to know. So I guess some people are either getting ready to buy boats or they're getting ready to uh, get theirs out and spruce it up for the season. So let's dive into it. To start with, if I bring a new boat home, first thing I'm going to do is wash it with this Ultra Pine Woody Wax Soap. Um, I really like this soap, but any boat soap will do for this process, especially if the boat's brand new. We just need to get everything off of it so we can go forward with our preventive maintenance. The next thing you want to make sure you have is uh, a deck brush that you can devote to the Woody wet Wax deck wax. Um, and leave the boat wet after washing it. And then take your deck brush, get it wet, and put this woody wax on that deck brush and put it everywhere on the boat. This stuff goes a long ways. Put it on the deck, put it on the sea deck, put it on the uh, powder coat, your cooler, your vinyl, your steering wheel, every, it can go on anything because the fact of the matter is if it's on something that later on it leaves a little bit of residue, it'll come right off. I've never seen it see, uh, stain or spot anything. After you've done that, walk away, go do something else for a little while, come back, spray the boat off after it's dry and it and it's done so you've devoted on a boat like this you've devoted five to ten minutes of wax, waxing the entire deck uh, and you now have a uv protectant on it you have a little bit of a coating that is kind of tacky so you won't slip and probably most important to me you have an uh the ability to get some blood on it and have it wash right off or most other stains come right off because you put this on um and then another, the next thing, as soon as I get new vinyl or a new boat, which obviously has new vinyl, then I'm going to have uh, this 303 aerospace protectant, which also goes a long ways. Get that on there, follow their instructions, but basically it's just a terry cloth and get some of that on there and then wipe it back dry. It keeps a good uh, coating on your vinyl, so to keep UV rays down, to keep uh, stains off, and also um, just to really protect overall and keeping that, that vinyl soft. Um, the other thing inside the boat, and I carry this with me all the time, uh, is uh, Meguiar's um, clear plastic detailer. You can put this on uh, other things too, but the main thing I put it on is my GPS screen and then also my y Yamaha uh, command center screen as well so that there's no water spots that get formed on there. And I, the reason I carry it in the boat is so that if I do notice water spots, I can go ahead and take care of them. You do not want water spots banking baking into these clear screens because they will and then they're very difficult to deal with. Um, so the last thing I carry in the boat um, is a all-purpose boat cleaner that is non-toxic uh, so that if some of it does get in the water it doesn't hurt anything. Um, this simple green seems to work really well and it is non-toxic. It's biodegradable so it'll go away. Um, carrying that in the boat has really helped me with you know, just keeping a cleaner boat overall and less maintenance down the road. The other thing I'd suggest, um, both for the boat and the trailer, is dielectric grease. Dielectric grease uh, is a godsend for our saltwater environment electronics. You should put it on um, your any connections that you that you can see that are open. Obviously, on a trailer, if there are any plugs that go into lights, you need to unplug that and put this dielectric grease in there and plug it back in. Dielectric grease will allow electricity to get through it, but it will provide a protective barrier. I put it also on the uh, plug that goes into my truck. Um, and then if I were to see any, there's not any under this console, but if I were to see any open connections or anything uh, that I didn't have a way to shrink wrap them, then I'd put this dielectric grease on those. And then I'd also put it on my plugs on my GPS unit uh, to protect those and, and really have those hold up over the long term so you don't get that, that green uh, stuff that after it starts to corrode and electronics don't work anymore. And then uh, the last of these products, um, that I actually use a lot of um, from a boat trailer standpoint silicone spray is essential 
if you really want your trailer to look good. Um, and, and an axle that has this constantly put on it uh, will not corrode. So what you want to do, the way to do this, and the reason you don't want to use anything else is because this will form a hard shell and will not leach into the water system if you give it time to dry. Do not put this on a boat or on a trailer that's getting ready to go in the water because it will leach into the water system and it's not good for it. So what you want to do, wash the boat, wash the trailer, and when you put it on uh, something like the axle, you want to make sure there's no salt water on there because you don't want that salt water under this um, because it'll dry and it'll hold that salt against it and it'll corrode. So get that all good and clean. I put this on my wheels and I'll spray it on the wheels while they're wet and then I'll just let them dry. Uh, and then I'll do the same on my axle. I'll do the same on my torsion arms on my axle. So I'll reach in between behind the wheels as well as the hubs. I'll also do it up in my trim unit area to keep, down, keep any corrosion down. On the last three boats I've had, there has been zero corrosion around my trim. Go, you can't find too many saltwater boats, that's the case, and this is why. The last thing I use this for is with our boats, we spend a lot of time uh, with the trailer out of the water. So it's important for us to be able to have these boats that are so shallow, we can dry launch them and not have to worry about ever getting the trailer in the water before it sits up in the parking lot and ends up having uh, issues because of the salt starting to work away on it. So with this uh, silicone spray, after you drop the boat off, then what you can do is take fresh water and put it all over your bunks, getting your bunks nice and wet. Then put this silicone spray on those bunks. Go fish, a couple hours, let the sun bake that area dry. It won't take long because most uh, bunk carpet's black. So that heat will dry that quickly. And now you've got a hard shell on, that, uh, on those bunks and your boat will slide off like that. Just make sure that you don't unhook the boat before you get it down the ramp because it will slide off in a hurry and there's no stopping it once it goes. Uh, the other place for that silicone, just get it on other little things uh, that you think might corrode, like the hook on the, uh, on the front of the boat uh, trailer, as well as uh, any other componentry metal-wise. I sure hope this was helpful and I sure appreciate your guys' support. Take care.